Hello friends and welcome to Strength in Scripture. My name is Oscar and today we will talk about the sure word of prophecy. What is God's word? The word of God is his method of communication with sinful men and women. Before man's fall, the Lord God freely communicated with the sinless pair in the Garden of Eden. We talked about this in our previous video titled, The Fall of Man. However, after their disobedience, it became impossible for man to speak with God face to face. Fear gripped their hearts, and when they heard the footsteps of their Creator, they hid themselves. The question that begs to be asked is, in what ways has God tried to communicate with man? Humanity could no longer see the Almighty as He, as he spoke to them. The scripture reads, when God told Moses, Thou cannot see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. It's found in Exodus 33. Verse 20. However, God's voice could still be heard by men, as recorded in Genesis chapter 4, verse 9, when the Lord spoke with Cain. Another example is found in Deuteronomy chapter 5, when God spoke to the people of Israel at Mount Sinai. However, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2, tells us that your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, that he will not hear. Since all have sinned, who has God chosen to communicate His will? Amos chapter 3 verse 7 reads, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but He reveals His secret unto His servants the prophets. What sort of men were these prophets? Who could qualify to be a prophet? 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 21 says, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Because sin separates man from God, no one who openly lived in sin could become the Creator's spokesman. Only those who walk humbly before God, seeking earnestly to daily overcome their defects of character, were chosen for this holy office. So, what is the role of prophecy? All scripture is established in truth, but prophecy gives the most clear and conclusive proof of divine revelation. We have also a sure word of prophecy, Whereunto ye do well, that take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn, and the day star rise in your hearts. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19. Many remarkable prophecies of great cities, kingdoms, and events have been accurately fulfilled. One great example is Babylon. We've all heard the stories. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19 and 20 say, And Babylon, the glory of Kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees' excellency, shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall be dwelt in from generation to generation, neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. For 2,500 years, the ruins of Babylon stand as a true witness to the accuracy of Bible prophecy. It is still a fact that no Arab will pitch his tent there, while the wild creatures of the desert make their abode amongst the ruins of the ancient world metropolis. So, should I care about Bible prophecies in these modern days? Prophecy is as necessary today to guide the people of God as it was in Old Testament time, for where there is no vision, the people perish. Prophets not only foretell future events, but also give warnings and instructions to the people of their generation. We invite you to follow us as we discuss the following weeks the great and solemn biblical warnings given to our present generation by the prophets of God.